Well, the much anticipated movie version of the highly popular PBS series Downton Abbey arrives on the big screen. But will fans of the TV show love the film just as much? Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon is here with his review. Lauren, I'm not sure this is going to be as entertaining as Rob's read on Area 51. <laughs> best, that I'm predisposed to like this movie. My late father was British, and I grew up watching Upstairs, Downstairs on PBS. My wife, Eileen, loves British shows, none more so than Downton Abbey. If you're enough of a fan to recognize this from TV, then you're going to enjoy Downton Abbey, the movie, a leisurely stroll back in time to 1927. The king and queen are coming to Downton. The lord and his lady must mobilize. Are you excited? I am a bit. Are you? Would it be common to admit it? Not to an American. <laughs> The visit causes enough disruption to sustain my interest, mainly because of the magnificent Maggie Smith. How's it all going? Mary's got it under control. Hardly. The solution is for Lady Mary to bring Downton's old butler, Carson, out of retirement. Won't you help me? I feel I'm pushing a rock uphill. I'll be there in the morning, my lady. Don't you worry. Turns out she needn't have worried because the king and queen have their own staff and don't intend to use the Downton crew. Do all understand me. They do, but that doesn't mean they have to abide by his directives. Your Majesties, welcome to Downton Abbey. The drama at Downton remains at a low boil, and there's comfort in that. A flirtation here, a put down there. Well, you have enough cliches to get you through the visit. If not, I'll come to you. Oh, here we go. Petty differences aside, what's at stake here is a way of life. Remember to pray for us. Yeah, I'll put in a word. <laughs> Hard to imagine the series without her. The movie is a slightly more lavish version of the PBS show with almost all of the original cast present and accounted for. If you feel the need to get with them again, you're not going to be disappointed. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News First at Four, I'll review the return of two superstars to the big screen. Sylvester Stallone is back as John Rambo. So will this be the last blood he sheds? Doubtful, but some wonder, isn't he getting a bit old for all of this? I'll give you an answer at four. But there's no question Brad Pitt can still hold a close-up as he proves all over again in Ad Astra playing an astronaut in search of his father. Worth seeing? I'm gonna tell you at four.